this video is about uh, general knowledge and uh, how to do the cleaning for fuel oil settling tank so first of all what are all the things that will be there in settling tanks you can see this is the high level alarm float the one in the bottom which i showed earlier is uh, low level alarm float and there will be one more for uh, these are all the pressure switch you can see three switches which activates the alarm and activates the pump so here you can see this is a quick closing valve which is inlet and this is what you call the drain valve fuel oil settling tank drain valve this tank has some problem uh, with the drainage system so we are in a plan to open the fuel oil settling tank to clean it so this is a steam inlet line and this is the level indicator and uh, that's all this is the overall uh, idea for uh, fuel oil settling tank on board you will be having a inlet line outlet line one for the purifier and uh, okay now we can go inside the fuel oil settling tank you can see the fuel oil settling tank will be always having a amount a considerable amount of sludge sometimes what happens is if the oil is very bad the sludge will accumulate and you can see this pipe is uh, the pipe which going down is a drain pipe and the pipe is completely choked and that is the reason we are not getting any oil out while draining the oil so for doing the cleaning you have to get uh, the enclosed space permit and our crew had uh, already started working after taking enough measures enough uh, uh, ventilated just you have to satisfy your enclosed space permit and you have to start doing the work you can find the amount of sludge deposited uh, down side you can see even with the help of uh, scoop it is very hard to remove it this is called a uh, hard sludge and uh, you can see these are all the coils which is uh, steam coil basically and whatever sludge we are removing we are keeping inside the barrel so you have to prepare the area when you are going to clean the fuel oil settling tank because the settling tank area once you start the cleaning it will be entirely dirty full of fuel oils so you have to keep the floor covered with uh, what do you call uh, any sack or uh, waste sheet brown sheet whatever so that uh, the platform don't get dirty so you can see the amount of sludge sludge is very hard so anyway we are uh, doing the cleaning process you can see a uh, ventilation is done from inside also and you can see one crew member is uh, digging the sludge because uh, you cannot uh, take out the sludge from outside so one should be inside the tank and uh, doing and uh, once you start taking out the sludge you can find water so that water you can uh, use a small welden pump and uh, pump it to the drain tank so that is what we are doing usually this tank is uh, settling tank will be always very high temperature so always try to plan if you are planning to do a fuel oil settling tank cleaning plan at some ports which is cold don't plan at uh, middle east and all you will be fried only very hard uh, very 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 much hot inside and uh, you have to take proper precaution you can see the amount of sludge coming out this is all hard sludge that you can do only we can remove only by manual scraping and at least uh, it will take uh, two days to complete the work it is a small tank but, but the tank is very complicated you can see the number of coils between the coils all those uh, um, sludge will be there and without uh, disturbing the coil you have to remove it and uh, you can see almost uh, the tank is cleaned now we had entered for inspection so these are all the steam coils you can see here these are all the steam coils which we see inside so uh, when you open the tank you have to do a testing of uh, steam lines just close the 
um, what do you call outlet of steam and uh, open the inlet very little so that if there is any leakage you can easily find it out that is one way of checking the steam line so that you have to do it completely check the do side surfaces for any rust or something mostly there won't be any rust for sure until unless your fuel oil is com contaminated with some salt water or something and if maybe it may be a old tank you can find that this tank is completely perfect very nice no problem so we have cleaned the tank very perfectly you can see here yeah, these are these are all the coils these are all the coils this tank is having very less coil you can see only one two three four four number of coil only but all one single line single line which connects to the one outlet so you can see in the top little rust is there because there won't be any oil till the top until unless the tank is getting uh, fully dumped but this tank is very nice so yeah this is the drain line so this is a drain line just you have to ensure whether the line is uh, perfect or not and this is a temperature sensor and this is the outlet this is the sensor you can see the float on top of it it's a float just check everything manually everything is in place or not so that's all nothing much so this will give you a rough idea about uh, how to do the uh, fuel oil setting tank cleaning and what are all the things that we need to inspect now i just uh, put a small uh, pipe and check whether the drain line is completely clear or not you can see a small rod rod came out that means the drain line is completely clear so that's all we are done with it so next thing what we need to do is whenever you open a manhole you have to uh, close the manhole with the help of um, new gasket don't use the old gasket if you don't have fabricate a new gasket and fix the manhole so that is one main thing that you need to keep it in mind because uh, if you use the old gasket sometime it may get damaged now what we are doing is we are opening the inlet valve of steam little and check whether there is any steam leakage or not so we open keep it for some time and check whether any leak so i found there is no leakage in the steam line this is what i told just uh, keep the outlet valve shut and uh, open the steam inlet valve very little and you can find if there is any leak the steam will come out so that is what uh, that's all so basically if you want to clean the tank you have to ensure uh, you have a standby tank in place if you are not having the settling tank and then you have to take proper uh, enclosed space entry permit and then you have to make sure uh, all people are given enough rest and check steam lines floats sensors drain lines mm, that's all so i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to do the checking of uh, fuel oil settling tank if you have any doubt uh, please put in comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching thank you all